Well, there you have it, guys. Yeah, there you go. Hey, what do you think of that stuff? Huh? Well, I'm trying to put my Christmas stuff together. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I was trying to put my Christmas stuff together here, digging through some of my paperwork. And Lord knows I've got tons of it, I'm telling you. Well, you know, I've been writing, I guess I've been writing comedy for 12 years, 13 years now. Uh, and uh, I put stuff together and have a little fun with it and stuff. And uh, I'm going to hope to get my shows going here. This winter, we're going to be doing some of my HGO specials. I'm hoping. I got one out there already, but it was kind of just, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I've got to have a background music. Don't get any better than Laurel and Hardy. I just got to find the right... There we go. There we go. That's better. Anyway... Um, yeah, well, like I was going to say, I'll tell you, um, this is the, um, my Christmas specials are going to be coming up. I'm probably going to have run about three of them through the 12 days of Christmas. So there you go. And anyway, okay, uh, this is my, this is Captain Boomer's ideas, um, for, now you got to remember, if you don't, uh, Captain Boomer, as my, as the name, uh, implies, I am a 100% Boomer orientated podcast provider that's it yes i am and i'm also a medicated media production yes thank you yes i am yeah thank you well oh man there they are there's my boys car 54 where are you love you guys hey you guys are gonna have a good holiday aren't you huh but you know i guess this time of the year uh i guess it gets kind of crazy out there huh right tootie yeah okay Hey, you guys, play it safe, okay? And lay off the triple glaze uh, donuts, will ya? All right. See you guys. Hey, hang in there. <coughs> Officers Trudy and Muldoon from Car 54. They drive by the studio. I see them through the window. You know, I wave to them, and they're always uh, here for me. Anyway, um, what were we going to talk about? 
Oh yeah, um, my Christmas specials are going to be some uh, <clears throat> funny kind of novelty Christmas songs, you know, like Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer, you know, stuff like that. And then uh, Jimmy Stafford's got some stuff, some funny stuff, and uh, some CDs, you know, like that, that kind of stuff. And we're going to be playing some some regular good music, uh, Christmas th- uh, kind of music too. Uh, and then just fun comedy, clean com- uh uh, novelty stuff uh, associated with uh, Christmas. Um, yeah. And, uh, but behind all that, having said that, uh, the whole thing is uh, happy birthday, Jesus. That's it. And I hope we keep that in mind as we go into the holiday season more. You betcha. Yep. Oh, I got to do my uh, commercial here. Uh this this part of the Captain Boomer's podcast is brought to you by none other than the Weenie Genie. You bet you guys having problems down stairs a little bit if you get my drift. Yeah, well I'll tell you what, the holiday season, this is Weenie Genie is these are the three well actually it's gonna be four major gifts that that's on uh, Captain Boomer's top Christmas list for boomers. And boomers only, I might add. Okay, well, I just did a plug there. And also, Weenie Genie should be the num- is the number one gift for us guys. So, gals? Yeah, well, he probably won't be it. But anyway, uh, yeah, guys, Weenie Genie. It takes care of the teeny weenie, I'm telling you. Uh, it's great stuff, boy, and I'm telling you, it works miracles. Yeah, and it, it, uh, yeah, you'll get some boing action, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, so Weenie Genie's number one for guys. All right, number number two for the gals for Christmas is, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Dr. Lance Boyle's low libido oil. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, it is. Dr. Lance Boyle's low libido oil. There you go. That's the number. That's the number one gift for women this year, for how for the for Christmas. Okay. All right. What's number three on our list? Number three is now. This is for both both uh, both husband and wife. Okay. Here we go. Here. All right. Or partners or whatever the hell it is now. You know. I just want to puke. Anyway, uh, uh, it is the two-seater stairway to heaven stairmaster system. Oh, you bet! You guys can't beat that. That's pretty cool, huh? I like that one. What do you think, Rod? Hey, how you doing? What are you doing you, we want uh, the group here. We want uh, two pitches of beer. We want one every seven minutes until somebody passes out, and then after that, give us one every five minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, everybody, my name's Pee Wee. Hey, Pee Wee. <laughs> All right. All right. Stay out of the movie theaters, will you? All right. Especially with that empty box of popcorn you got, you big, you phony baloney. Any. <laughs> Where's my spinach? Somebody took my spinach. Well, blow me down. Well, blow me down. Well, Popeye, you'll probably get a whole, uh, a whole brand new can of spinach for Christmas, huh? Yeah, well, let's see, you might be. Uh, have you been a good sailor all year? Huh? Anyways, uh, where were we going? Okay, uh, third gift now for uh, for Christmas for boomers is, is something like this. It's his and hers Ben Gay, and it simply means that the Ben Gay that the men use is is uh, is Old Spice scented. Yes, not no more of that medicine-y, menthol-y, crappy smell, you know. Uh, and the ladies Ben Gay will be coming out in a fragrance. Of Chanel number five. What do you guys think of that? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeehaw! You betcha. I thought it would be a yeehaw. You betcha. 
Oh, God. Who let her in? Oh, God. Nancy Pelosi. You know, I, I just don't get this whole thing. You know, if the Democrats, if, if, you know, they spend so much time and money and effort trying to get a guy out of office who actually, I think, is doing a pretty damn good job. People don't like Donnie because he's not a politician. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. You know, and you know, and, and when is this free ride? It was all set up for free rides. How many politicians do you think would be politicians, or well, wouldn't even have anymore, if they didn't get these free rides that last all their life? I mean, hell. I mean, you know, what do they got? They got, like, I don't know, 120 days off a year with pay, and they got all free dental, medical, all, everything, and the average guy they're making between 180 and 225000 a year and taking care of the rest of their life. Well, who the hell wouldn't want that? You got to get rid of that. You get rid of that and things will fall into place. And that's what Donnie's kind of doing in a way. And I like Donnie a lot. I think he's on the right track and I'm going to vote for him again because he's the only one that's got the balls to uh, not take the scrap from these other countries and kowtow to them and stuff when we're supposed to be the strongest and most powerful country in the world. Well, let's flex a few muscles and don't take this bullshit for some of these countries. Anyway, uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, what was that other one? Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, I forgot about this one almost. The VA is going to be introducing a real placebo next year. Yeah, can you believe that? I'm going to check that out. Um, uh, I'm getting tired of these uh, horse tranquilizers they've been giving me for the last three years. Uh, <laughs> back to the Christmas shows. Yeah, um, we're going to be... Um, a lot of novelty stuff. We're going to have some... Uh, I think... Um, um, the uh, Three Chord Kenny is going to be coming in and probably playing a little bit of his... Uh, got his little format, his little show. It's called the uh, Arthritic Acoustics Hour. And he'll be coming in. And uh, yeah. And uh, there you go. So we've only got a couple minutes left, guys. That's right. Oh, yeah, these part-time jobs. I got an announcement for you guys for part-time jobs. What the heck did I do with it? Yeah, it wasn't bad either. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. I, you know, I, I, uh, I'm going to check into it myself. Oh, yeah. One of them is a, I'm going to be, uh, I'm checking into this one. I'm going to be a uh, clapper, you know, clap on, clap off. I'm going to be a clapper repairman. Yeah. What do you think of that? Huh? I think that's pretty cool. Huh? Kind of low key and stuff. And you know you're going to need them. Yeah. Clapper repairman. That's going to be me. And there's another one out there, too, I had. Yeah, but I can't remember. We got a little cuckoo time news here. You guys want some cuckoo time? Huh? Who doesn't like cuckoo time? I just got to find my cuckoo time news. Oh, yeah. Part of cuckoo time here. They're going to they're be coming out with a Twinkie-flavored cereal. Right, like we need more sweets. Right, guys? Oh, my God. You know? They just can't leave shit alone. They just got to screw with everything. You know? Uh, anyway. Uh, all right. Villages of Viagra. My oldest sponsor. It's up north. Uh, well, more specifically, it's up in Frostbite Falls, Minnesota. And uh, the Villages of Viagra is quite the place. I'm telling you, you guys got to check it out. Uh, anyways, their motto is... At the Villages of Viagra, where even a hard day is a good day. There you go. And I got to get some kisses out to Donna Stapleton, to... Uh, I'm, I'm voting for sainthood myself. She's going to be a saint. Uh, Linda Moore. Uh, and my cousin Susie Q. I haven't heard from Susie in a while. I hope she's okay. I hope you're okay, dear. Love you. Love all you guys. Okay, here they come. Get ready. Get some kisses out there, baby. Pucker up. There we go. All right. I love you guys. All right. Yep, very special. Very special people. Very special ladies indeed. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to be getting the heck out of here. Yeah, I was going to say Diddy Mao, but I'm not going to say Diddy Mao this time, okay? Diddy Mao and Vietnamese...